first I want to thank you for finding time and being able to come this morning for prayer. And this morning also we are judged with the responsibility of praying for our nation. That wisdom may prevail. I keep repeating that for that is the reality. What we require at the moment is uh, reason. We pray that our, our leaders may be reasonable enough and that they may consider the bigger picture of this nation. I've spoken not once from the end of last year and the beginning of this year. I have spoken that this country requires wisdom. Each one of us have the capacity to do something stupid. We can do something stupid, every one of us. But we again have the liberty to choose between foolishness and wisdom. If I met President William Ruto today and his deputy, I could only tell them a high school story. I could tell them what happens in high school. Those of you who went through high school, if you ever happen to be a drama teacher, and in your play, there is a place where somebody is supposed to act like a fool. Who do you choose to act as a fool? A stupid student or a wise one? There is an episode in Kenya where somebody is supposed to act as a fool. When you have an episode where somebody is to act as a fool, and you are a drama teacher, you choose a sharp and wise student. Because a fool cannot be able to act as a fool. It's naturally a fool. That is how it works in education. I don't know about politics, but I am I'm encouraging the politicians to apply what they learned in high school 